Hi and welcome back. Uh, today's game that I'm working on, and probably will be working on for a week or so, is the old uh, SBI, The Battle of Monmouth. The colonies take the offensive June 28th, 1778. Let's see. The game was copyrighted in 1982 by Simulations Publications Incorporated out of New York City. And the game was designed by David, Dr. David G. Martin, Leonard Millman, and Eric Lee Smith. Graphics were done by Redmond A. Simonson. The game was developed by Eric Lee Smith. And the game was edited, the rules were, by Bob Ryer. So this is from the old S&T uh, magazine. Looks like issue number 90. And this game is uh, is concerns about Old Monmouth, as uh, the title says. And I'm going to be playing it for a little bit. Hopefully giving it a turn-by-turn -turn, uh, look at the game. And we'll see how that goes. Uh, the map is printed on paper. The counters are pretty much typical SBI era counters. Okay, sorry about that, but my battery died. I had to replace it. Um, what we got here is a typical British uh, infantry unit. The number on the left is its initial strength as it takes losses in combat. That number will reduce. The number in the middle is its morale. They're rated from 1 to 6, I believe, with 6 being the best. And the number on the very right is its movement allowance in that particular formation. Now on the back side, and by the way, that was the column side. On the back side, we have the unit when it's in line. You'll notice all the numbers are the same except for the right-hand number, and that is its movement allowance when it's in line formation. All units face a hex vertes, or vertex, however you want to pronounce that. And they move into their front, uh, two front uh, hexes of that, uh, of their frontal aspect. What we have is front two hexes, then we have uh, sides, flanks, whatever, and then we have rear. Um, that's pretty much that. Find out where he went again. Anyway, that's close, I'll double check in a minute. And this is the initial setup of the forces in this scenario. We're going to be playing the hedgehog scenario, or hedgerow, I guess it is. Hedgehog, hedgerow, whatever. Um, the British start at the start in column. Uh, let's see. Is there a compass rose here anywhere? Yes. They're coming in from the east, and uh, the Americans, or colonials, I guess I should call them. Uh, start in uh, line formation up there uh, to the west. Um, let's see here. I've marked some of the victory hexes that the British need to occupy for a win. I haven't marked all of them. And let's see. I think that's about it for right now. We're ready to play the first uh, turn of the scenario. Uh, hedgerow scenario. It doesn't use all the rules. I'll be using pretty much just the basic rules. Um, we'll leave out a few of the more advanced rules which I just don't understand or don't want to take time to understand this time. We have a sequence of play. The first player is always going to be the British in this particular scenario. Then we have a rally phase for the non-phasing player, in other words the uh, colonial player. Then we have a British march phase, a British reciprocal artillery fire phase. We have a reciprocal infantry fire phase. We then we have a shock combat phase, and the second player will repeat that, and then we'll have a game turn record interphase. The game is tactical. Monmouth is a tactical level simulation of the Battle of Monmouth, fought on the 28th of June, 1778, near the village of Freehold in Monmouth County, New Jersey. Um, some of the uh, different rules are cover movement. Grand tactical movement, facing, formation, and stacking. There are rules for morale, there are rules for fire combat and shock combat, as well as retreat and uh, artillery units. So, it's pretty much a brief summary of the game. And I'm going to be starting with uh, the British player turn here next, and that will be in the next update. So, see you then.